Hey guys, what's up and welcome back. We are in the middle of a trial. Home of the dwellers, your majesty. Sabine will speak for his people and their land. Reba will dispute his cause. You may speak. I come here seeking nothing but what was promised me and my people. You pledged to restore our home mountains and our right to dwell in them. We have fulfilled our end of the bargain. We have paid with our lives to sit you on that throne. Now you must fulfill your end. Undo the damage your brother did to our land, and our agreement shall be satisfied. Your Majesty, this sounds both an unnecessary expense and an impudent demand. What value is there in a few trees languishing amongst snow and rock? This is not the time to indulge some idyllic fantasy. Those forests are a resource, and we are in dire need of resources. I propose we expand on your brother's initiative and take what nature offers so readily. Say the word, and I will transform the worthless wasteland of Mist Peak into assets we can use to defend Albion. These hands are not yet so old or weak that I can't wring that pretty little neck of yours, Reaver. Huh. The refined retort of a true mountain goat. <laughs> you may promise to Sabine, but it's up to you whether you decide to honor it. Of course I will. The mountain goat shall be keep pleased. I promise to the dwellers. The Miss Peak Mountains will be restored. This peak shall become a protected region, and the dwellers shall be granted authority over its forests and resources. You are true to your word and your honor. The dwellers will stand by you till the end. Hell yeah. Okay, that is it for this day. That was a fast day. I think it's actually going to drop down to maybe 60 or maybe Forests one day after this. Our greatest national treasure, and now... Thanks to Reva Industries, they have returned to their past splendor. Dwellers, birds, and bunnies are free to roam, laugh, and kill each other as nature intended. Who needs all that number anyway? Okay. Oh, days left until attack. One day, so this is going to be our final day until the attack. I'm not sure what we have to do today, but we have plenty of money. Happy anniversary. Majesty. One year as King of Albion. Doesn't time just fly? To celebrate this momentous day, I have prepared some fantastic events. First, you will stand still for several hours while a local artist paints your portrait. Then, you will choose the 47 varieties of flowers you wish to be cast at your feet as you parade through the city. Oh, and you will need to sign thousands of autographs, of course. Let's see. You will also be Uh oh. <laughs> Enough of his talking, let's just get the hell out of here. I think Teresa was getting sick of uh sick of all of his talking as well. So anyways, uh don't know what we have left to do <laughs> in Rota Rule. We'll find out. I mean, we obviously don't get any more boxes. The day has come, King. It is time for you to face the darkness. But you will do so in your true form. Over the past year, you have made decisions that reveal your nature, and which have affected the lives of all your subjects. You have done what many would have thought impossible. Not only have you raised an army to protect your people, but you have accomplished this while acting as a noble, benevolent, and popular ruler. But you are more than a king. You are a hero. You are Albion's champion, its protector. This coming battle is the reason you had to take Logan's place. Only you can defeat the creature that dwells in the shadows. If you do not, all your efforts will have been in vain. Now go. Do what you were born to do. Okay, so I, I guess I'm good now. I don't have the awesome evil wings, which are much much cooler than those but oh well I was going to be evil throughout the game but I ended up being good and that is just okay with me so now we are uh, at the very end of the game gonna fight the darkness and after that should be over with but we still have 
traders keep sometime. I don't know when that's gonna kick in. I thought it would be. Thought it would uh, we would already have it, but maybe it's just one of those things, uh, just like a DLC at the end of the game to play. Uh, a lot of games do that, which is okay. And if so, we will go ahead and do those quests. It's here. The darkness has reached Powerstone. Reports indicate that our defenses were able to hold off the worst of the first attack. But if we don't act quickly, even the armies we prepared for this day will not be enough. We have to get out on the streets, now! Today we fight for Albion! For Albion! <laughs> Alright. 10G, tough love. Uh, I kind of want to see what that is, Rovest. You had to make a lot of difficult and unpopular decisions, but they were the right ones. Okay, sweet. I don't know if you get that no matter what, but... Okay, so now we're in the final battles. This is going to take quite some time to complete, if I remember correctly. So, yeah, we are right at the end. We just have to do all of this, pretty much walk through every town killing things. <laughs> Not through every town, but we do, uh, we do have to kill a lot of things. And, uh, and then that'll be the end. And then we shall have Trader Keep, and then we shall be done with this game. And uh, start on Fallout, which I am really looking forward to. It's going to be a blast. I'm going to tell you that. I'm really looking forward to the game. And when I look forward to the game, something is going to be awesome. I'll, I can promise that. That didn't even affect them. I don't know why I uh, hit that. But this is the kingdom of unlike now. This is the kingdom of death. Alright, so we're probably going to be, uh... <laughs> yeah, that thing will drive you insane, I guess. So awesome, we get to listen to the crawler again. Alright, what the hell am I doing with my magic? Do you really think that's Paige? I wouldn't ask. Looks like uh, Walter's freaking out again. I can't blame him. Poor dude. And this is all the defenses I get for having uh, for having all my money in the treasury. I only get one guy. It looks like one guy is dead. Oh, it looks like a couple. Oh, it looks like I see quite a few of them dead now. I I. Had double the money that I needed to pretty much in there. This is the best we could do for soldiers. Uh oh, what the hell just happened? Those things are very easy to kill. They they're pretty big, and you think they would be tough, but they're really not that bad. Try not to die, because I haven't died yet in this game, so and I don't want to use my potions yet. Alright, let's continue on. Uh oh. Huh. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, keep following the path. Oh, alright, that was it, nothing, I guess. And also, at least I have Ben and Walter, I think, here to fight, even though they probably don't do much to help anyway. Desperation. <laughs> Ow. 
Those things, if they hit you, though, they do a lot of damage, so you gotta watch out for that. They do, like, constant hits at you very fast. They could, you know, if you stay there for too long, you'll probably die. You can never escape darkness. It flocks to you always. Great. I'm looking forward to fight this guy. I guess we're just going to have to shoot him. Ow. What the hell is that doing to me? There we go. That wasn't too bad. I thought it was going to be a lot tougher than that. Is 